today I'm going to show you how to use a Wi-Fi light switch in a situation where you need two-way and three-way lighting circuits. So I've had a number of questions for a video I created a while back on a Wi-Fi light switch and the question always seems to be around using it in a situation where you've got a hallway and the light switch is used downstairs and upstairs. Now, searching around the internet, what you'll notice, all these Wi-Fi light switches are just one way. They don't actually support two-way circuits. So I'm gonna show you how to sort of utilize these light switches in two-way and three-way scenarios. So I've got three Wi-Fi light switches here, all from a company called NRJ. A combination of switches here, so let me open them up. So we've got a one button there, two buttons, and then three buttons. So in a scenario, you could say where you've got that downstairs, perhaps that one on the first floor, and if you had a second floor, you could have that, or even maybe that one in a porch. Now, the way they're all built, they're all very similar, if I show, Take them all out. So you've got a, a neutral live and they're your lighting circuits. So one, two and three. So more for a scenario where you've got three different lights in a room, but not for the two way situation. So that's the three way for three different light switches. This is for the two, so you can say, see L1, L2, and finally you've got this one with L1. So this sort of thing is possible with most types of Wi-Fi light switches, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna go with these NRJ Wi-Fi light switches. I like the build quality of these. The glass at the front is quite nice and chunky and looks pretty cool. Okay, so here's a diagram showing how a two-way lighting circuit would be wired up. So you've got your junction here and the cables come into the first switch and then the wiring takes it to the second switch. Now quite interesting when you go with doing it via Wi-Fi switches. So let's move on. So this diagram shows how you'd achieve the same two-way switching method using Wi-Fi switches. So you wouldn't physically have a cable going from one switch to the other. All you've got to ensure is obviously both switches are powered. So neutral and live and neutral and live. So this neutral obviously assists in powering the switch so you can pick up an IP address and obviously be on your network and this cable here the L1 provides the mechanism for turning the light switch on so the way it works on Wi-Fi switches is it works via scenes so scenes are something you set up that provide logic in between devices so what we're gonna do we're gonna take one of the switches create a scene where if the buttons press the other button gets pressed at the same time and vice versa but the only thing to be aware of when you're using this method is it relies on the internet connectivity to be there so obviously it goes out onto the internet and via the cloud connectivity it allows the other switch to turn on so if your internet goes down and you're trying to press this button here, for example, nothing will happen. So internet has to be available if you're going to do this. Okay, so you've seen the circuit diagram, how you'd wire this up. So let's actually put this into practice. So for demonstration purposes, what I've done, I've obviously got a long bit of cable with a plug on the end and one end goes into one of the switches and I've changed, daisy changed it up, so the other end goes into the other switch. So let me show how it looks on the other end. If I zoom in a little bit. 
So all I've done is connect the neutral and the live on this one. And all that does, it just provides power to the switch. And I've done the same for the other one. So if I show on there, neutral and live, and that's all. So no lights are actually physically going into this. You can obviously get it going in and work in different combinations for this. But obviously this is just to demonstrate how you do it with scenes. Okay, next, let me get my Android phone and let's go to the Play Store. Let's get the app installed to actually configure these lights now. So NJ, that's what you want to search for. So you could, in theory, use Smart Life as well. Similar app to the NJ app, but obviously we're using their products. Let's just use their app in this demonstration. Okay, so the app's installed. Let's click open. So the next thing you want to do is register. So let me click there. And I'll register off camera and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so I've registered and signed in and this is what I'm presented with. So let's click here and we get this screen and we want to go to add devices. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a wall switch. So there should be a light flashing on the actual light switch itself. So let's initially plug in the other end to get them on. So one's turned on, the other one's turned on. So let me hold on to it for a moment. So let's hold on to it for say five seconds-ish, okay and I can see a light flashing in blue just there. So now, if I click here, I need to add my Wi-Fi password. So let me do that away from the camera. Okay, I've just added my password and it's saying connecting now. So let's give it a moment to connect. And there you go, it shoots along. So, it looks like it's added two devices. So just there, wall switch with three, which is that one, and obviously switch panel, which is that one. Okay, so I've renamed both the switches and just for clarity purposes, three buttons and one button. So obviously we know which one we're looking at. Let's click done. Firmware upgrade available, let's cancel that. And just to show, And there you go, to turn on. So that controls them. And then if we go to one button, cancel the firmware upgrade. And there you go, you can control it from there. Okay, so we've got our two buttons initially configured. So let's get our third one, which is actually installed on the wall at the moment, set up. Okay, so we're at the switch that's been installed. So the two button switch. Now you can see a light flashing there, blue. If it's not flashing, all you do, either button, you just hold on to it for about five to 10 seconds. And you'll hear it click. And then the flashing starts. Okay, so let me go to the Energy app, click plus click wall switch it is flashing rapidly so i'm going to click confirm indicate rapidly blink off camera because it's going to show my wi-fi password and bring it straight back again there you go so it's trying to connect to this one now okay the light just turned on and off So it looks like it is probably connecting now. And there you go, wall switch. So I'll rename that to two buttons. Go. So that's a two button switch. If I now click there, 
needs a firmware upgrade is available on there as well but and I can turn it on and off like so okay so I've repositioned the two switches I've wired up so obviously this is wired in already to two lighting circuits so one for the top lights you can just see a slight image of the light turning on and on there you go turned on turned off just in that sort of location and the undercovered lights just there so we're gonna actually work off the undercovered light now this doesn't do anything it's obviously just been wired as I've shown just to provide power to each one and it's daisy changed so obviously this cable goes to this one and then another cable goes off and it's plugged in so they don't do anything they're just switches and that's all okay so next let me get my smartphone and you've got the NRJ app here let me come in close so you can see it as clear as possible now you can see all the buttons on there so the one button the two button and the three button and what we want to do as a demonstration let's take the one button and we want to be in a situation where we press it and that light comes on just there so let me turn it off so this is where the clever bit is so if you go to scenes go to plus and let's just call this test one and the condition we want is a device the one button one is switched on and what that does as a task it turns on this kitchen light Let's save that so that's one scene so the other scene we want to create is if that button's turned off what happens then we want it to turn that light off so if I go here device button switch off and what that does is on here kitchen off and we'll call this test okay so the two scenes are in place now so if I just turn my phone off move it away so in theory now if I press that the lights turned on if I press it again it turns off so the interesting thing about this is there is no wire wiring on this controlling that light and this is where the two-way lighting comes into it so you can do this on multiple lights so you could just have the actual Wi-Fi switch with one light going into it so if you're on your ground floor just get your ground floor one going into it but not your first floor light going into it on the first floor go to the light switch there and wire that one in if you have another floor go to that one and then wire the next one in but you don't need any sort of special wiring going all you do is create scenes between the different devices and then you're done but the only thing to be aware of if you do use this method is the fact that it's dependent on there being an internet connection so if your internet goes down these scenes aren't going to work and the lights won't do anything other than just turn on and off turn on and off not do anything so if your internet is working it should be fine if you've got a stable internet at home shouldn't have any sort of issues but let me show it again turns on if I do it from here turns off turns on turns off simple as that so you'd have scenes doing different things so let me set up a few more scenes and I'll demonstrate that in the background okay so I've worked on creating a number of scenes so many more it does take a bit of thinking how you want this to work so at the moment test 1 going up all the way to test 14 as you can see there now what I've done just to show that light turns the lower cupboard light on I can turn it off from here but I can also turn it on from here and turn it off as well so what happens I've got a scene on there if you turn it on these two turn on and if you turn it off both these two turn off as well so there you go again and as it's on in uh, in the on position if I hit it now it will turn it off 
So you've got to replicate the scenes just to sort of make sense, otherwise things won't be in sync. Now, I've also set up a scene for the top light. So you can just about see that up there. So if I hit that, this one turns on. And then that turns on. So two-way lighting circuit from here to here. And then from here, you can see a three-way lighting circuit. Excellent way of doing it. You know, works well. And that sort of explains why a lot of these manufacturers aren't selling two-way or three-way lighting switches. So you'd go around using scenes and get it working and obviously it is reliant on the internet. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone attempting to do a two-way or three-way lighting circuit. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.